All right. I think this car with the tail, uh, I forgot what it's called, is slightly better at controlling the ball on the ground. So I've switched to this one to see how it works. I don't know if it's as good in the air, but I'm on the ground most of the time, so it's definitely useful to know that. Um, let's do let's do training first. I want to show you some of the cool tricks. If you use free play, you have unlimited boosts. So this means you can boost and then just keep boosting. And one thing you can learn is is uh, how to control how high you boost by holding down the boost button. If you hold it down a really short time, it does a small jump. If you do double jump, it can go even higher. If you tilt it like this and then you push uh, boost, you can control your height. And this is the cool trick, uh, I think, to practice is controlling how to jump and keeping how high you want to be. So you want to keep this height, but you don't want to hit the ceiling. Um, right now you can see I'm centered on the ball. So this is definitely a good way to learn how to control your uh, distance. And it's a good idea to practice like spinning and controlling uh, your, where you're located to try to get a understanding of exactly the arrows and how much you can control. This is like a good practice to kind of get you going uh, distance wise. So um, I'm going to turn off by hitting spacebar the uh, ball control centered on the ball so I could do a second tip. One thing is to practice from here boosting all the way across and pick a target like I'm going to pick this top right corner. So I did that. I'm going to try over here and start here and boost off, take off from here and practice trying to get to this corner. And then just to practice this for, you know, 15 minutes before you start, just so you get a handle on the controls or don't get a handle as I demonstrated right there. Sometimes you can go for the middle right here, like I'm going to go aim for that spot right there. And a lot of this is not boosting too much or too little, and you always want to hold on to boost. Now, I'm kind of cheating because I'm using the free play mode, but you can also turn off the boosts, and it won't give you 100% boost and you actually have to know where the best spots to get boosts are. This is a good spot in the corner. This is a hundred boost right here. So always remember where that spot is and try to beat the other people to it. The other ones are tiny comparatively. Um, another trick is to practice on the starts. Um, the cool trick about starts that I've noticed is if you push forward, you hold down forward and then you double click, it'll do a flip. But when you're holding down boost, you boost while you're facing forward but you let go of boost and then you push forward again while you're facing the ball so this keeps the target boosting you in the same direction so here i'm going to go forward and boost let go of boost keep going forward and boost so practice is uh flips like that good parts to go after the ball are when you're diagonal like right here when you start out right here and then when you start out diagonal on this side right here if you start out there, you're a lot closer to the ball than the other team. And then you just have to do a slight turn and hit the ball. Like that. And you'll beat it. You'll beat them uh, most of the time to the ball if you pick that spot. If you're anywhere else, you're pretty far from the ball. You're like way back here. Um, so you probably want to go try to get this super boost right now and uh, while everyone else is doing kickoffs and things like that. That super boost will give you a lot of time for aerials. Um, to do all your aerial tricks and reaching the ball faster. I think a lot of the thing is to get to the ball quicker than everyone else. So using this space bar to keep it centered on the ball helps a lot. Um, I try to keep that most of the time. You can also do something called a swivel cam where you rotate the camera. Um, I attach these to the Q and the E button. Um, some people put it on their mouse on the side, but I chose Q and E, it's a lot closer, it's easier to access. I don't have any side mouse buttons anyway. So um, this rotates the camera. So while you're going, if you want to see where the ball is, 
can kind of say, oh yeah, I'm still heading in the right direction. So like half of this is understanding where you are. It's like the uh, awareness of knowing, you know, keeping the ball in the right position. Um, another good thing for practicing or training is to understand how to dribble. And by dribble, I mean controlling the ball at your toe, uh, right at the front of the car. And you'll notice that when you push the ball, you're not underneath the ball. You have to go a little bit faster. So you boost your car slightly faster than the ball. And then that makes you underneath it like that. I just hit it hard, but I was going a little bit too fast. But the, a good thing to do is to play with it to see exactly how much uh, you have to give it. One trick to dribbling I've noticed is is if you change the 